YouTube, you know who it is. Chris Jones, represent producer greatness. And right now, I'm actually watching a little TV and I'm having me a pre-workout snack. Just got done uh, checking up on my clients, which is, man, lately, shout out to the clients, man. Lately, y'all been doing a great job, you know, no disrespect, but for the most part, I get a lot of excuses every week. Like somebody's either fucking the diet, you know, for whatever reason. For the past four weeks, I haven't really had very many excuses. I guess it's because summertime is getting close and people are trying to get a hoe ready. That's my theory, you know. Summer's getting close, ain't no time to be fucking around. But anyway, so I'm having some tilapia. I'm having some white rice and some strawberry before I go train, man. Nice fuel right here. Good, healthy, quality fuel right here. So I'm about to meet up with Sandra. We're gonna train some shoulders and arms. Y'all stay tuned, and we will see y'all at the gym. Y'all already know, no hippie shit, man. High volume, man. If you don't like high volume, go fucking follow somebody else's hippie ass shit. This is high volume only on this channel. We should change the channel to high volume uh, bodybuilding. But for the least the greatest is some player ass shit. I like that name. All you know right, what I'm homies, homies. I'm in the kitchen getting my gym bar ready. We got some BCAs, and then I lost my damn funnel. I can't find my funnel for shit. Pre OG on deck in my water bottle with the BCAs. I'm gonna um, sip it on the way to the gym. Be sure to get you about 30 of them bitches, man. And we got a, a BCA product of our own coming out real. It should have actually already been out. It's still getting tested. And as soon as it passed through, we will have BCAs on deck for everybody that happen to give a fuck. And if you don't happen to give a fuck, that is completely fine. Just keep watching the videos. It's okay, man. Yeah, <laughs> people get some people get so offended when you try to, you know, put some new products out there for the people, man. It's okay, man. You're not interested. I still fucks with you. But get that pre OG. Get your 30 of them bitches, man. Links in the description. Well anyway, I'm about to sip on this. And that way by the time I get to the gym, I'll be powered up. Power level over nine fucking thousand and be ready to crush these weights. Yeah. All right, homies and homies. You already know we got the homie Sandra here, man. Hi guys. Sipping on my pre OG and BCAs. We just talking a little bit. As you may or may not know, pump checkers is getting ready to come. We trying to talk about the first female items, you know. But anyway, fuck all that. We about to get ready to start. Shoulders and arms. Watch, take notes, and hopefully you enjoy. Stay tuned. All right, homies and homettes. So you may notice on my shoulder and tricep routine that all my shoulder exercises were done with 12 reps. If anybody's got my push pull leg routine off of BeachModeJonesCoaching.com, you already know exactly what I mean by cycling the rep ranges and cycling the intensity. Really makes it hard. <laughs> my bad. Really makes it easy. For you to make progression when you cycle the rep ranges and cycling the intensity. So we did two exercises for real delts, and then I jumped off the lateral head of my delts with some uh, side raises. You may notice I'm using a fucking curling bar. That's because the gym is so crowded, I couldn't even find the dumbbell. The lightest dumbbell I could find was 55, and I, quite frankly, I can't use good form with 55 pound dumbbell. Not yet anyway. So I had to fucking use my imagination and do the best I could. And it felt pretty good, believe it or not, using that bar. Really got to stabilize that wrist though to feel it. Then we did the side lateral machine. This right here is pretty cool. You really have to focus with your elbows. And I really hardly use this machine. I used it because like I just said earlier, couldn't find no fucking dumbbells. But, like I always told vets, the show must go on. Just because your favorite machine is taken, or your favorite piece of equipment is taken, that don't mean anything. Find another exercise that does exactly the same thing, so you can keep the shit moving. There's nothing worse than waiting around for some equipment to be freed up, and you're losing your pump, your heart rate's all cooled off, and your intensity is just fucked for the whole day. So, gotta keep it moving, man. And then we did seated dumbbell press. I only do like one press in motion every time I touch delts. And I do delts 
twice a week. And I focus mostly on the raises, you know what I mean? That's really gonna how you're gonna get those delts pumped. I fire up each head of my delts, and then I finish off with some pressing at the end. And like I said, 12 reps. This right here is the fourth and final set, and I took it to beyond failure. I got as many as I can do, and then Sandra helped me get four more. Now, we are to the triceps. If you watch my video, I just posted like maybe four or five days ago. I showed you two techniques to help bring up your triceps. This is one of them. You start with um, French press or skull crush or whatever you want to call it. It's the French press because you go behind your fucking head. All right, skull crusher, you bring it to your forehead. And then you superset it immediately with close grip press. And we did 10 and 10, 10 behind the head and 10 in front of you. Then we did some tricep kickbacks with the dumbbells. A lot of people talk shit about this exercise, claiming it's bad on the elbows or whatever. It is not. You just gotta make sweet, sweet love. As you notice, I'm controlling it the whole way. No swinging, no jerking. Let the triceps do the working. Then we do some overhead tricep extension with the cable for that constant tension and for that epic contraction. And then we finish it off with some heavy tricep press downs. And this is the final exercise of the day. Be sure to give this a try, depending on what your split is. I'm pretty much doing the split from the Beast Mode Boot Camp. Decide to go ahead and give it a try for the next six weeks, man. So anyway, don't forget to comment below. Let me know what you think. So how you like the workout, man? It's pretty good. It was intense. I'm <sighs> starving, and I... Mm. Yeah, I got some dinner already cooked, okay. man. We cooked before we came, so I just gotta go heat it up. I'm gonna make my smoothie bowl. And it took a long, a little too long. It took much longer to get done than it should have, considering these New Year's resolution people are getting up in here yeah. and just kind of crowded. We we thought coming in early. We should. Or super late, because coming around peak hours, man, it's gonna be. It's, it's it took bad. way too long. It's bad. I hate it. Man, fuck. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna gotta give me a little uh, home gym. I built my own gym in this bitch, man. That was just ridiculous. All right, homies at home, man. We just got done hitting them delts and triceps, man. Ugh. Hugging. 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 Hugging the sleeves. You feel me? And uh, I'm probably gonna call it some more. Cause I, I like working out of this, man. I you like know? it. But anyway, man, got my two scoops of MTS whey. Chocolate flavor. Bottom said link in the description in case you happen to give a fuck. And I got some creatine in here too. And uh, got some pineapples on deck. On deck. I have one right now. Mm. I'm gonna put the video out first. Don't forget to like my shit. Comment, subscribe. How back at your boy.